Welcome back to North Dakota Today. It's Monday, which means Amanda Kosher from North Dakota Nice Blog is here to share stories with us. All the stories that will make you say, oh, for nice. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Jesse. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Me too. Okay, so I can't wait to hear what you've got going on this cold January morning. Uh, I'm so happy I'm sharing this with you. You need to hold on to this couch. All right. Because you're going to love, it's actually not a story, it's a person. Oh. Sent to us by one of the lovely viewers of North Dakota Today, so thank you so much. In West, Far West Fargo High and Cheyenne have a guitar teacher named Mark Burtson. Okay. Burnson. I want to make sure I get that right. Here is Mark. Oh. So um, the person who called said, if there was a, an award for Citizen of the Year, Mark should get it. And I said, well, tell me why. Yeah. So she, she goes, okay, in 2017, uh, he put on Facebook during the holidays, if any of my former students want to have coffee, let me know. And Come so on. I know. So his students reached out, but also just the community reached out to him. And so he has now hosted these coffee dates. Aww. In 2023, he hosted, ready? Yeah. 415 coffee dates. What? That's more than one a day. I know. I heard that number. I was like, I don't drink that much coffee. I, yeah. So, but think of the, I, I, the rainbow effect of this, Jesse. Oh, of yeah. like, you have coffee with someone who listens to you, you feel good, you go out and spread that good feeling to somebody else. Like, it's overwhelming all on its own, It right? really is, yeah. Like you said, that, that ripple effect that just keeps on going. 400 and some coffee days, wow. But wait, there's more. Okay. So then I was like, wow, what a, that is so great. Let me, yes. And they're like, oh, and also, he hosts a guitar. He will fundraise for guitars for his students that can't afford one or need a guitar. Wow. And I said, wow, how many guitars has he given away? And they said, well, in 12 years, he's given away 263 guitars. What? In yeah, I'm thinking you're going to say like five. Yeah, like eight. Um, <laughs> they, uh, so, in fact, in the time that I was gathering information for this, he gave away another guitar. Oh my gosh. So, and he is still teaching. He's not retired. Nope, he's still teaching. You can actually, you can only see him play guitar at school, like he plays guitar nowhere else. Wow. And, and there's more. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about it. He that. also uh, has been a big brother, been part of the Big Brother Little Brother program for 25 years. The picture oh. that you saw earlier with the little boy, his name is William. If that's his fifth little brother that he's had over 25 years, and he does it just because he wants to positively impact a young person's life. Like the whole thing. Wow. It's so amazing. I'm gonna, um, there he is with William right there. Oh my Thank gosh. You. Like, I, look at them. They both look so happy. I know. I, I, it is absolutely amazing to me, just the goodness. Think of the goodness even with the guitars of like a kid yes. who now has a skill that they can carry right. through their life. Yes. A oh. talent, a way to, you know, yes. express themselves and yeah, use their voice in the world, all the things. And yes. 200 and some guitars. Plus he's taught, I'm sure, way more students. Exactly. Those are just the ones Hundreds. that he was able to fundraise guitars for. Right. Wow. And Man, I feel like there is a guitar company out there that maybe could be watching today that might say, hey, I'd like to partner with him and uh, help him provide these guitars. That would be, I think that would be awesome. That would if be you awesome. do, if you are that company, uh, or, or you have a guitar or sitting person. around, or yes. person, I will put some information on my website at North Dakota Nice where you can help Mark, maybe you can go to, co I'm sure you can, I can guarantee you can go to coffee with wow. Mark. <laughs> he's a busy guy. That just makes me think I all know. the times when I think, oh, I'm too busy, I'm too busy, and he's, Teaching guitar, having coffee with students, being a big brother. I know. Raising money for guitars. Wow, we could all do more. What, that's I know. inspiring. Like, you know what I did today? I drove here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so that late, was my day. Actually. <laughs> yeah. But I was also running late and I was trying to not static me myself. That yes, was, that's me my... too. Yeah, and get my eyelashes on, which, right. you know, oh. the important things. The important things only. Right. <laughs> Back to the actual important <laughs> things. What else do you have to share with us? Well, okay. So if you're like, maybe I should go on a date with someone. I was trying to figure out how yes. to connect these two things. Yes. Can't, Fort Stevenson State Park has, but they call them evening hikes. I would call them magic hikes. Wow. So it's cold now. We're not doing hikes now. No right. one's hiking. But by February 24th, it will be beautiful. Sure. And they have a luminary hike coming up. And they, should, they wow. sent me some pictures on it. You can see what <gasps> it looks like here. Oh, my goodness. It's, this is amazing. Yes. And they have these hikes throughout the whole year. The one in May, they set up fairy lights and fairy houses. <gasps> yes, please. Yes, I know. <laughs> And I said, are there any rules? And they go, well, dress appropriately for the weather and bring okay. a camera. And so, bring a camera. And I was like, look at this. Like so February 24th. Okay, yes. this is amazing. They have a million other, I didn't realize, so Fort Stevenson State Park is near Garrison. I didn't realize how many adorable events they have. They have um, a Leprechaun's Gold Geocache. For, oh, love this. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, yes. Oh and then they gosh. do maple sugaring in April. Where what is go? that? They, I, had, I asked this, I was like, what is that? That sounds delicious. Yes. Uh, they tap the box elder trees, and like, so 
school groups or the public and 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 the public can yeah. go. You learn how to make maple syrup. Okay. Then they have a pancake feed naturally. Mm. You can take a hayride. They uh, want everybody part of the process. And so wow. I mean, like you can go to Fort Stevenson State Park anytime you want. If right. you get there and you're like, you know what? I hate maple syrup. Like you're still in a beautiful. Right. No one's ever gone to a park, park and been like. This is that too wasn't much. worth it. I wish I wouldn't have came. Yeah, yeah. nobody's ever said that no. ever. Like these, look at all these trees. <laughs> Nobody so, trees. This is nice. So I would highly. I can tell you we're going. I already sent it to my husband. I was like, I will put. Yes. The, they sent me their schedule. I'll put it all also on my website so you can. Perfect. Have it. But you, you want to give us them. that website real quick? Yeah, NorthDakotaNice.com. Perfect. Do we have like we do have thirty seconds? Yeah, yeah okay. we do. Uh, you just did something, Jesse, for many days. Can you tell me about it? I will. <laughs> um, that was so fun. Ooh, I get to be interviewed. This yes. is awesome. It was so much fun. So Feed My Starving Children had their 10 year anniversary. 10 million meals was their goal. And I Amazing. love that Amy Okeson was on several times and she is the executive director at Feed My Starving Children um, at Atonement Lutheran, so the, the local contact. And she just thought, let's dream big. And the biggest yes. they'd ever done was 250,000. So, I mean, this what? is four times. Yeah, so they went <laughs> big, big, oh big, big. Um, and so I, I got to be there every day and it was it was so much fun to it, it's like Sam Begate, you know, you get to know yes. all these people and you're working together for this goal. Um, they did not quite meet meet the 10 million. It was nine million seven hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and twenty four <laughs> meals, um, which was amazing. And what I loved was it's actually, you know, it's OK to set a goal and a dream that's too big to reach. You know, think of yeah. it, they would have only said, oh, let's do double, we'll do 500,000, or 5 million, excuse me, 5 million. So, you know, okay, that's wonderful, but they reached for a huge goal. Do you know what, I work in marketing, yeah. 9 million, 700, whatever, that's 10 million for marketing. Yes, it is, it we is. We just round right That up. is basically 10, 10 million. 10 million it is. <laughs> but man, it was just amazing to be with the community of people. I mean, you know, the energy in that place just felt yes. so great every day. So I know they will come back again. I don't know what their goal will be next year, but I mean, you're gonna wanna sign up. It They make it so easy to help. That's what's always so fun yes. about a place that, you know, when you volunteer and you can just walk in, you can, you know, feel like you're doing a good job and you're contributing. So yeah, and you know amazing. what? I knew so many people who did this besides you. Yeah. Like, every time I turn on Facebook, they see people with their, in their hair nets. nets. <laughs> and so it's like, a, it's a, I mean, my office went, it's the community goes. Like, yes. I, if you are even around and can get around for this, it's multiple days, like a week or something. Yeah, this was 10 days. It's usually, I think, like maybe four or five. Oh, but yeah, that's it's incredible. Awesome. It's wonderful that you guys did that. I think it's so great. If you don't follow Jesse on social media, oh. it's wonderful. <laughs> She had all these great pictures and video from it. And it was fun. she always says great things like this. So I highly recommend. But to everybody in the community who helped with Feed My Starving Children, thank you. Yes, that is thank nice. You. Thank you. Nice. And like they said, now dinner's ready for all of these kids. What a fun thing their parents get to say now. Yes. So, oh, we finally do have to wrap up. I'm sorry. Coming up on today's show, we will check in to see what is new at the Rail District after the break.